Hey guys, I'm Ruth Guary. I was a model in a Playboy Centerfold. I left a very fast-paced public life and built a sanctuary in the woods where I've always known I should be. Tune in for some epic home cooking and to share my simple, rustic, and really tasty lifestyle. Hey guys, welcome to the cabin. I'm Ruth. I live here in the middle of the woods in this old cabin that we reconstructed a long time ago. I cook with what I grow in my garden, so lots of vegetables. I have my own chickens and eggs, a small fruit orchard, and a lot of herbs. And anything else I need, I try very hard to buy locally, including beef and pork. So everything I make is homemade. It's fresh and it's seasonal. I am Italian, so you'll see a lot of Mediterranean influence in my dishes. Today I thought we'd grill inside, in the fireplace. I'm going to make you the best burger you have ever had. So as you can probably tell by the tree in the kitchen, this is not a set. This is where I live and this is where I cook. I love to take something like the simple humble burger and take it over the top with just a few ingredients and a few extra steps. So we're going to start our burgers with a wine shallot reduction. If a red onion and a head of garlic had a baby, this would be it. It's a great cross. It's, it has a very mild flavor. So cut both ends off of your shallot. Cut it in half. Peel it. It's basically just like prepping an onion. And if it falls apart, no big deal. So for this recipe, we will need one shallot. This is kind of a large one. Make vertical cuts and come back through. Chopped. And to make it a little finer, just run your knife back through a few times. Okay, and we're gonna take shallot and put it right into the saucepan. This is a medium-sized saucepan. Pour in an entire bottle of wine. And I know that seems like a lot of wine, but we're reducing this to about three quarters of a cup. I have to light this burner. Someday I'll get this fixed. So put the saucepan on, on high heat. And this will reduce down to about three quarters of a cup, and that'll take about 30 minutes. This is what you'll have after about 30 minutes. It's reduced down to three quarters of a cup. And then you're gonna add one tablespoon of butter and two teaspoons of brown sugar. And at this point, the heat is turned off. And then just stir this until the butter is melted and the brown sugar is dissolved. OK, time to mix up our burger patties. This is a pound and a half of good Missouri grass-fed beef. And this is an 80-20 mixture, meaning it has 20% fat. And that's very important for a good, juicy burger. So we need to add a quarter cup of our wine and shallot mixture. Add it right into the beef. And this ground beef will soak up all of that wine mixture. It's, it's crazy good. And then we need one teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of granulated garlic, right in the bowl. And the best way to mix up ground beef is with your hands. I would take my ring off, but it won't come off. So I'm just gonna get in here and get messy and mix all this up. It turns a deep, beautiful red color. Just make sure everything is good and combined. This is fun. Love to dig in here. Okay, that feels good. We're gonna make four burgers. We'll start making our patties. And you just 
kind of divide this into four pieces and mix these up. And remember, you never want to manhandle your meat. You just have to pack it without squishing it, without hitting it hard because that makes for a much juicier burger. If you pack it, it becomes hard. Okay, like that. And then with your thumb, make an indentation just on the top. And that keeps it from blowing up while you're cooking it and looking more like a meatball. This stays nice and flat. So there's one burger. Just continue on. Beautiful burgers. Let the ground beef rest for about 20 minutes. It will absorb all of that wine. Now it's time to mix up our rosemary butter. This is going to go on our buns. This is eight tablespoons of softened butter. And take one fresh sprig, and uh, there are a couple of herbs that you strip backwards to get the leaves off. And and thyme is one and rosemary is one. So go ahead and strip it backwards and get all those little leaves off. And just take your knife and chop through it. Just like that. And add it right into the butter. And add a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper. And just mash that up. So you get a nice smooth mixture. This is so good on the buns. Just like that. Set that aside and let that hang out. Now it's time to grate our cheese. This is extra sharp cheddar. And we need about a cup. And you could use any kind of cheese you like. Um, Fontina is really good on these burgers, but I just love this, that sharp bite of the cheddar. That's about a cup. Good. Let's grill these babies. Our good friend Dave made this indoor fireplace grill so we can grill in a blizzard. So let's get this nice and oiled up so the burgers don't stick. That would be disastrous. There we are. And we'll swing it back in and get it nice and hot. So we'll put our burgers on the grill. And I'm going to cook them on the first side for about three minutes. And then we'll brush it with some more of our wine and shallot mixture. And grill them for about three to four more minutes. And that's for medium rare. Okay, I wish you could be here in this kitchen. Is there anything like roasting meat over an open fire? So we're gonna brush a little more of our wine shallot mixture on the burgers and then flip them and grill about three to four more minutes. And like I said, that's for medium rare. Cook them to the, the desired doneness that you like. Cook them just the way you like them. And this meat is still soaking up this amazing reduction sauce. There we are. We'll swing these back in. We're going to cook these three to four more minutes and then we'll top them with our grated extra sharp cheddar. Going to flip them over. and grill them three to four more minutes. Then we'll put on that cheese and 
we'll be almost ready to eat these. Okay, let's pile on this cheese. Oh, this is so good. So nice. Okay, let's let this melt and then we'll remove the burgers and keep them warm and get our buns buttered. Okay, let's take these off and we'll put them up in our little warming bowl and continue to melt the cheese. And then we'll butter our buns and toast them up. And we'll be ready to assemble our burgers. Butter our buns with rosemary butter and put them on the grill to toast for about two more minutes. Okay, let's put our buns on, butter side down. Okay, swing this back in, get these nice and toasty. Just about two minutes. Take the buns off, they should be toasty. Oh, just right. You don't want them hard, you want to keep them very soft, just a little bit toasted on the outside. You can really smell this rosemary butter. It smells so good. A little hot, a little hot. Okay. So it's time to assemble our burgers. This is the exciting part. Okay, let's cut this beautiful tomato into four big pieces. don't count, I lose track. Okay, place a burger on the bottom of each bun. Just a big slice of tomato, you stay. Good. And this is arugula. You could use any sort of lettuce you like, but the, but the peppery bite of arugula works really well. With this, put a little mound of arugula. lid on. That's it. There they are. This is what I've been waiting for. Mm. Mm. These are outrageous. Mm. You have to make these. And please, come back and see me. You're always welcome at the cabin, and something's always cooking.